Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to run through NAS on Proxmox server. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is true NAS? So if you go to Google and type actually true NAS, you get this definition from actually Wikipedia. So true NAS is the branding for a family of network attached storage products. Okay. So it's produced by IX systems. Okay. So they include boot free and open source and commercial offering. So actually there are two flavors of uh, true NAS that you can uh, download. So there is a true NAS core where the solution started. It was actually previously known as FreeNAS, okay? It uses FreeBSD and ZFS file system to provide data integrity and support features like, for example, snapshot and replication. And there is also another version, TrueNAS Scale. So TrueNAS Scale is a Linux-based system that many are choosing now. So it supports scale out storage and clustering for larger environment. Okay. So in order to download it, it's pretty easy. So as you can see here, you have link to Druna scale. So you have just to click on it and hit the download button. Okay. And you will be directed to another page. So you have just to go to this link here no thank you i have already signed up and you can just click on the download stable version which is right in this video 24.04.1.1 okay so after you download this version of course you have to upload it to your uh, proxbox storage okay so if I go to my Proxmox and I go to my storage and I go to the ISO images, so you hit this upload button in order to upload your ISO image. So as you can see here, I have already done that. So this is the true NAS ISO, which is actually around 1.63 gigabytes, okay? But here, as I told you, I'm going to install TrueNAS on Proxmox. But you can also install TrueNAS on the bare metal. So what are the advantages of running TrueNAS on a Proxmox? So actually, you may run Proxmox or actually TrueNAS on Proxmox because Proxmox is a much better virtualization platform than TrueNAS. So the virtualization tools in TrueNAS are not that good. Okay, that's why we are choosing to install it on Promax. Promox actually. Okay. Also, abstracting your TrueNAS installation using VM virtual disks give you the option to back up your entire TrueNAS installation. Okay. So you can actually back up your TrueNAS installation using native tools like for example Promax backup server, okay? Okay. And still, even if you run TrueNAS on Proxmox, you can still achieve great performance because you can actually do what we have done on our last video on Proxmox, which is actually the PCI pass-through disks. So you can pass through a disk on Proxmox in order to get better performance on TrueNAS, okay? okay. So let's now try to install a TrueNAS VM on Proxmox. So let's get started. So we'll create a VM as you can see here. So here you have to choose your node. So me, I have already just one node, which is Proxmox 01. So this is the VM ID, which is 144. So here I have to choose a name for my uh, VM. So I will just type TrueNAS, okay? And I will hit next. And here is the option to choose the ISO image. 
So as I told you, I have already uh, uploaded ISO on my Proxmox. So here, all I have to do is to choose it. Here we go. And I will leave the default uh, configuration for the guest OS, which is Linux. And the version is 6.x actually. So I will hit next. For the system configuration, I will keep the defaults. Okay, so I will go next. For the desk here, so the desk, this is the desk where actually uh, Turunas will be installed. Okay, so you will see that we will add a special disk which is pass through disk only for our files. But here for the installation disk, I guess 8 gigabytes is actually uh, efficient or uh, sufficient for our installation okay so I will go next for the CPU here I will choose the host because I want to get all the actually CPU scores so I can here choose for example two cores okay so I will go next for the memory, you have at least to choose 8 gigabytes. Okay, so here it gives me the default with 2 gigabytes. So I'll change that to uh, 8 gigabytes. Okay, so the more memory you have, the more it's good for you. Okay, so for the network, I will choose my default bridge, which is VMPR0. Okay, but you can choose any bridge that you have configured in your Proxbox. Okay. So normally the default one is VMPR0, okay? And you will hit next. So now you have a summary of your uh, virtual machine that you can just hit the finish button, okay? But now, as you will see, our VM has been created here. So if I click on it, and if I go to the hardware section, you can see that I have only one disk for the storage. So now I want to actually add a pass-through disk for the pool because actually TrueNAS needs a pool in order to allocate for the file that we want to backup, for example, in TrueNAS. Okay. So as you have seen uh, on my previous video on Proxmox, it's very easy actually to uh, configure a pass-through disk on Proxmox okay so if you want to see that you can return to my last video so here I'm going to add a pass-through disk very quickly here okay so I will go to the Proxmox node to the shell prompt actually and I will actually get the ID of the pass through disk so I will use this command here in order to get the disk ID so actually the pass through disk that will, I will add is this last one SDC as you can see here which has almost 500 gigabytes so just for testing purposes and then I will attach it to my VM using this command uh, QM actually set and here I have to provide the ID of my VM which is 144 then minus virtio 0 actually 0 ok and I will copy the disk ID as you can see here to this command and I will hit enter so here I actually mistyped something so this is QM not EM QM okay okay I get this message update VM 144 which means that I have actually attached the pass-through disk to the VM we can also check that if I go back to my VM here and if you go to the hardware section you can see that the pass-through disk to Shiba actually has been added to the VM okay so now we have everything we need in order to start the installation of our TrueNAS virtual machine 
So let's start it. Here we go. Actually, not create, but uh, start. Okay. And I will launch the console in order to see what we get. Okay. So this is the console. So we'll go through the steps in order to install the true NAS. Okay. So I will hit enter actually. And now the process of installation has begun. Okay, of course we want to install, so I'll choose the first option. And as I told you, I have two disks, one for the installation and one for our actually storage. So make sure to choose the first one, so I will hit just space bar in order to choose it then enter here it telling me that it will raise all partition and data on STA so I will proceed with yes and for the web UI authentication method I will choose the default one which is administrative user and here I have to choose a passport and to confirm it and enter okay so here we are allowing EFI boot so I'll just hit yes and now the process will begin as you can see here So now, a few moments later, as you can see, the true NAS installation on SDA succeeded. So I will hit OK, and now I have to reboot the system. Okay. So I will hit here just enter in order to run the system. a few moments later okay now so you actually reach the console setup so the most interesting thing here is to notice this IP address so this is the IP address that you must actually enter into your browser in order to get to the web GUI of TrueNAS but of course you can also use this menu here this console menu in order to configure for example network interfaces network setting configure static routes or uh, change the local administrator and other options actually but for us we're gonna actually use this IP address in order to configure to NAS through the web GUI so I will open here my browser and I will go to the IP address shown on the console okay and this is the web GUI for our true NAS so here we enter the credential that we have set up during the installation phase and we are in so this is the dashboard of our true NAS so from here you can do a lot of things you can monitor your true NAS you can configure it but remember we are not finished yet because we didn't actually create our storage pool so you go to the storage section on the left here and you will notice message no pool so we have to create actually a pool uh, which is attached to our desk okay now so let's create a pool so the only thing here that you have to input is the storage name or the pool actually name storage 
so I will call it just storage I don't, don't need encryption so I will go to next and in this step we will choose actually the disk that we have passed through okay so of course you can add as many disks as you want and configure as many uh, configuration layout you want so here for example you can choose uh, the mirror you can choose a red Z, Z1 red Z2 red Z3 but these options are chosen if you have many disks but me I have only one so I'll choose this stripe layout okay and here is my disk I have only one okay so I will save and go to review okay so this is the summary of my pool configuration so I will create a pool and of course the content of all added disk will be rest so I have to confirm that here we go and now the pool is created okay and this is the dashboard for your storage so this is the usable capacity which is 445 gigabytes okay and you have the topology also so I have only one desk you have the disk health and ZFS health and of course this finished our installation so now our true NAS server is ready to be working so of course you can configure whatever you want you can configure here for example share so you can configure this true NAS as sharing server so you can choose whatever option you want you can create a windows share unifex or nfs shares or i scasi shares if you want okay and there are a lot of options you can configure also the network change the ip address of your server if you want change some settings okay so that was just a brief video to show you how you can run true nas on proxmox so if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment or a like so as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing Bye-bye.